Early in the 22nd century, humanity escaped from Einstein's cage. The giant ring-shaped engines of the node drive gave us the power to leap to the nearest star at many times the speed of light. After centuries of dreaming, we were finally free to leave the cradle of our homeworld. It took us years to build the Earth's first colony ship. The Nova Maria was a symbol for all mankind. Soon it was loaded with humanity's best and brightest. They prepared to depart, ready to inherit a galaxy which we had long ago decided was devoid of intelligent life. The universe was all out there for our taking. <laughs> Someone should have told that to the hires. They came in silence. No statement of intention. No declaration of war. Without even a demand for our surrender. They hit us without warning. Within seconds, our dreams of peaceful expansion were so many burning meteors falling to Earth. We barely survived the first Hiver incursion. Years later, we would find that we had faced only a small nesting fleet. We had yet to see the full power of the swarm. But the Hive was not the only threat. When we ventured forth, we soon encountered the ruthless legions of the Tarka. And eventually, the phantom fleets of the enigmatic Lear. And so, we learned how to build bigger, stronger ships, more powerful weapons. Humanity had to explore, expand, and even conquer, just to hold our own in a universe where weakness was extinction. In order to survive, we learned to wield the Sword of the Stars.